hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you how to install um, Oracle VirtualBox uh, this is a uh, an hypervisor it's a software that you can use to install other operating systems uh, for instance if you have if you're looking to install Linux and you have uh, a Windows 10 machine you can install uh, Linux or a different operating system on your computer and be able to use that on um, your Windows 10 machine. So this can be useful for somebody. Uh, maybe you're, you're looking to you're looking to test out an operating system um, before you you install it or before you buy it. You can install it virtually and then you know play with it and see what it looks like before you move ahead with the, the patches. It also is uh, used by uh, people who are, who are doing like labs and they have to use like a um, Linux machines or if they, they, they're looking to use older operating systems like uh, Windows 7 or Windows uh, Vista. So in order for you to install uh, Oracle VirtualBox, you just need to um, open your browser and go to and type in so VirtualBox download and then go to uh, go to the website that says uh, www.virtualbox.org. Once you get to the site on your left, just go to downloads and then you want to uh, get what says uh, go to the link that says Windows host. And once you click it, it should start downloading. So this uh, file that ends with .exe is what we'll, we'll be installing. So once it's done downloading, just uh, double click on it. Now you can, uh, you can minimize that. And this is the window you'll get. So just click next to begin the installation process. So you just click next again. Uh, you can leave. You can you can leave all these options checked. Some of them are just creating a shortcut in your desktop. Uh, click next. Then uh, click next and install. So it's gonna go. Uh, it's gonna take a few minutes to finish the installation. Okay, right here it's uh, it's done with the installation and it's asking you if you want to launch it. We'll go ahead and uh, launch it. So this is what it looks like. Once you have this, you'll need to um, you'll need to get um, an image. So depending on what image you're looking to install, you'll need to get the image. Uh, you need to download the image first before you can install it. So the installation process is normally it involves you going to new and then as you can see here in this uh, window it tells you you can select the type you can name your um, machine maybe it's a windows uh, 7 windows 11 whatever it is or, or linux then you'll have to come here here you select the machine folder um where it's going to be installed and then here you select the type so as you can see here the, there's many types you can you can install uh windows uh, microsoft windows uh, linux solaris mac os and so on and then you you select what version you're installing so if it's a windows there's different types you can install vista 7 8 11 and if it's a Linux machine, there's different types, um, Debian, Fedora, uh, and, uh, and many others. So that's it. That's how you install the, the hypervisor. In my next videos, I'll be showing you how to actually in, in, install a machine in here and boot it up. Um, just before I uh, finish this video, I'll show you another hypervisor that's uh, uh, 
commonly used. So this one is free. This is an open source. So this is a free software. You don't have to pay for it. So that's why it's mostly used by, by many. Another one that's also used is uh, VMware hypervisors. Um, I have one which is called uh, VMware Workstation Pro that I have installed and uh, I have some machines installed on it. So I'll, I'll open it so you can see what it looks like. So you can have an idea of uh, what uh, an hypervisor looks like once you, ha once you have uh, virtual machines installed on it. So this one here is, uh, like I said, VMware Workstation Pro. And as you can see here, I already have a, a bunch of um, uh, machines installed on it. So I have CentOS, which is a Linux machine. Um, and uh, I have, even, I have a Windows XP and uh, other different uh, virtual machines that I have installed here. So that's it for this video. Um, this is just an introduction to uh, hypervisors, which are, are used to install virtual machines. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.